first off, before I talk about the topic that is stated in the title of this video, I keep having quite a few people saying that why do I look so skinny on a carnivore based in a diet? But yeah, take a look at me. Do I look like I'm malnourished? Do I look like I'm deteriorating, wasting away, like I've got sarcopenia? Do I look really skinny? Like, no, come on. Like, what are people talking about? And I will be talking about why I am actually less in weight on a carnivore diet than I was on a vegan diet very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you subscribe to be notified of when that video comes. So now onto the topic of today's video. So why I don't intermittent fast on the carnivore diet, which may come as a shock to a lot of people out there because I used to make so many different intermittent fasting videos that you can find on this channel to do the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet, also one meal a day and various other intermittent fasting diets. And I've talked about this for years and years and years. I had been very religious with intermittent fasting prior to the carnival diet when I was on a vegan diet. And whilst I was on the vegan diet for around six years, three years of that vegan diet journey, I was doing intermittent fasting. First got into 16-8 intermittent fasting diet where you fast around 16 hours a day, eat for around an eight hour window, and then naturally started fasting longer periods of time and then went to one meal a day for seven months and then went back to fasting 16 to 20 hours a day. So I need to give you a bit of a back story. So the reason why I had to and felt the need to intermittent fast is at one point on my vegan journey, about three years before I quit it, which I quit in November last year. If you don't know why, I put a link for the video up above where I talk about that in full detail. And I just wasn't feeling so good. My blood sugar levels just kept being up and down. My mind wasn't functioning so optimally and I just wasn't functioning, feeling the best holistically. So then I stumbled across intermittent fasting and all of the science on this specific subject. So I thought to myself, why not give this a go? Because intermittent fasting shows to make you more sensitive to insulin. It lowers your blood sugar levels. It boosts human growth hormone production, testosterone production, and has a whole host of other amazing benefits as well. So when I then switched to that, I started feeling way, way better. But guess why? Because on the vegan diet as well, I started getting a lot of bloating and gas and just overall digestive issues. And every time I was eating vegan food, it felt like it was giving me no energy whatsoever. When I look back with the knowledge that I have now, it's because the food was not giving me the nutrients that I've been lacking for so long from being on a malnourishing, unsustainable vegan diet. At first on the vegan diet, I felt good because I removed all the other crap from my diet. And I said that the vegan diet gave me all the benefits, but it's because I removed all of the crap from my diet. And so yeah, I felt good on a vegan diet initially, but I kept having ups and downs all the time on my six year vegan journey. So then when I actually came to intermittent fasting, it actually started to eliminate all of those digestive issues that I had going on, my blood sugar levels being up and down. And I was actually feeling way better when I was in the fasted state. But the pitfall with this on the vegan diet was, okay, you're fasting throughout the day, every single day with religious intermittent fasting like I was, and I'm still pro intermittent fasting, just so you know that. But when I was coming back to the foods that I was eating on the vegan diet, they were still not making me feel amazing. So that's why I naturally went to one meal a day, but this is obviously not resolving the root cause of the issue. The root cause of the issue that I had going on was the vegan diet was giving me loads of plant toxins that affected me in a negative way, loads of pesticides, loads of indigestible fiber, and just like so much other garbage that you really don't want in your body because they're not ideal foods for you. And this is why it has such a negative effect on vegans long-term. And this is why around 85% as proven through scientific research of vegans normally go back to meat and other animal foods. So now let's bring that up to the carnivore diet for where I'm at now. So I switched to the carnivore diet late last year, back in November. And when I initially switched to the carnivore diet, I was just saying to myself, I'm just going to listen to my body. So being intuitive and eating intuitively 
And I found that almost every single day, my body did not want to intermittent fast whatsoever. And guess why? Because I was feeling absolutely amazing with the foods, my digestion was optimal on this way of eating and still is, and my elimination of the food that I'd been eating, and my energy levels are stable, and I just felt really, really good. But then, after a period of time, and I talked about this just recently in another video, but I'll go into more detail in this video, is that now, I do not intermittent fast whatsoever because there was some times when I was just eating predominantly meat on a carnivore diet that I was intermittent fasting, but it was almost never happening. But since switching to raw milk and raw honey, which happened I think about a month or two months ago, I wake up and I drink around a gallon of milk a day, a lot of honey, and then I have a meat meal normally later in the day, but not every day. I talk about why I don't eat meat every single day. If you haven't seen that video, I've put a link for the video up above and you can check that out now. And then I normally have milk just before bed. So if you actually look how many hours that I am consuming calorie sources and food sources throughout the day, it could literally be anywhere from say 14 or so hours. And I feel absolutely amazing from doing that. Because guess what as well? These foods give me all of the nutrition that I need for me to feel my best. So I don't need to go and do loads of intermittent fasting to make me feel the best because these foods don't affect me in a negative way. They give me all the nutrition that I had been lacking and that I'm still rebuilding within my body after being on that vegan diet and then quitting it and getting on to a carnivore diet that can meet all of my nutritional needs and make me feel the best within my mind and body holistically. And yeah, for sure, this could change in the future. This is just what I'm doing now, and I'm completely open to intermittent fasting in the future, but it doesn't feel that it's necessary whatsoever. Some people find on a carnivore diet, and there are a lot of carnivore teachers and advocates out there, such as Sean Baker, who only eats one meal a day. Frank Tofano used to eat one meal a day, but now he's eating two meals a day due to being on a bodybuilding carnivore diet. So there is a lot of people that feel on a carnivore diet, it's absolutely key for them to intermittent fast and feel their best. But what I find is the people that normally do two or one meals a day on carnivore diet necessarily haven't come from a malnourishing vegan diet. So that's something to be very aware of. They'd already normally been on a ketogenic diet or some other animal-based diet. So they had a lot of nutritional reserves built up from all of those animal foods. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to people that have just come off of a vegan diet and their health got destroyed on it, where you were just surviving and just pushing through and pulling through with it. You really, really, really need to be building up those nutritional reserves and the nutrients that you've been lacking for so long on the vegan diet. So yeah, what I would say is with this type of thing, listen to your body. If you feel that you do better with one meal a day or two meals a day, then do that. If you feel better with three or even four meals a day on a carnivore diet, then do that. Don't listen to me or anyone else saying, that one meal a day is the best on the carnival diet because I have a lot of people telling me like me eating throughout the day, it's just not good whatsoever and it's the best to eat one meal a day, but don't listen to these dogmatic, evangelistic, idealistic people out there because they're just projecting their own experience onto you and what may work for them may not work for you. So you have to listen to your internal navigation system as much as possible. It's good to gather knowledge from other people that have experience with the type of diet that you're interested in or that you're on. But at the end of the day, they are not you. They don't know what's best for you, not even your mind does, your body knows best. Just try out certain foods on a carnival diet that you wanna eat and do intermittent fasting if you feel that you want to experiment with it, see how you feel. If you don't feel good from it, then don't do it. It is really as simple as that. And that is something that I cannot stress enough because too many people are using their head and normally their ego gets involved, their dogmatic like viewpoint and just other people's biased opinions and perspective can really taint them in a way where they're just very, very disconnected from their internal navigation system and their intuition, which can lead you down, um, which can just lead you down a very dangerous path of the diet. And this is why so many people end up staying on a diet longer than it's ideal for them to do so, such as so many different vegans, including myself in the past, that have then eventually got to breaking point and got off of that diet and regained their health through eating a high 
quality animal foods. So that's it from me and this video. So don't forget to leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as well to receive a lot more videos from me on a weekly basis. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.